On July 25th, 2014, Google announced the update of the largest local search algorithm update we have seen so far. While it is still too early to give the exact metrics and what Google plans on focusing on how the new update will affect local search results, this video will present what aspects will be affected and the best practices web owners must take to improve their local search results. The new local search algorithm update was given the name Pigeon by Search Engine Land due to the bird's remarkable ability to always find and fly home. While the true benefits of this update will be to the searcher, most web owners might not like the idea of the extra work that they might have to do in order to adapt to this new search algorithm. But one thing small business owners will welcome will be the fact that the new Pigeon update will enable them to compete with the big guns with big funds if they are willing to perfect the small stuff. So let's look at some of the new features that we can expect to be rolled out by Google. Please understand that these changes will first take effect in North America and will be affected to English based search queries before affecting other countries and other languages. If you're a website owner in North America and has seen your local search results for the keywords you want to rank take a dip or has disappeared altogether from the radar, then you need not be worried. Again, this can be fixed without much of an ordeal, but you have to take action soon. Just keep watching the rest of the video and you will learn how. So let's assume that a homeowner in Fresno, California is looking for a plumber to fix a faucet. The searcher enters the keyword plumber Fresno or Fresno plumber or any other related keyword and goes through the available results Google has generated. Due to the new algorithm update, the searcher not only finds available plumbers in Fresno but also find that the search query has given him results for plumbing equipment suppliers located in Miami, Florida and kitchen appliance retailers in Los Angeles. If you're a business owner and have noticed that other businesses that are not in direct competition with your business all of a sudden occupying search results and keywords you want to rank, then you are as baffled as the searcher looking for a plumber in Fresno, California. Google's new local search algorithm or the Pigeon update is programmed to return better, relevant and intelligent search results and we'll use the business's Google Plus local listing to generate the search results and not the meta tags, descriptions and keyword tags available on web pages like how it was programmed to search before. So if a plumbing equipment supplier in Florida had a retail store in Fresno, California and they included the address information and they listed their business as a plumbing asset based in Fresno, California, then the new local search algorithm may list it under plumber Fresno for anyone who searches for that keyword. This kind of erroneous business listings can do irreparable harm to the plumbing equipment supplier as they may never be found under the keyword plumbing equipment suppliers and instead be listed under plumbing services. So, if you have seen your search results disappear altogether for unknown reasons, then check your Google Plus local listing and make sure that all your information is correct and that your business is listed under the desired listing. So website owners must understand that unlike the previous penalty based local search algorithm updates like Google Panda and Google Penguin. Google Pigeon requires you to understand that the information contained in your Google Plus local page must be accurate and relevant to the industry you belong to. The only penalty here is if you have not entered the accurate information yourself on your Google Plus local page. So let's make a checklist of what you need to fix on your Google Plus local page. If you not have set up a Google Plus local page, then you have to do this with immediate effect for your local business website to receive online visibility. Your first step 
is to set up in Google's local index. Then verify that you are the business owner of that particular listing. This usually involves Google sending you a postcard to your business address containing a PIN number that you should enter with the listed phone number for the business. Make sure that you don't have multiple Google Plus local accounts. If so, make sure that you verify that you are the business owner and claim your business and take control of the multiple listings. And then have only one active Google Plus page with all your information. For every extra listing that you have already taken control by verifying you as the business owner, go to the particular listing and click report a problem link and then select place has another listing. Google will review these and fix the issue. Make sure that your business listing appear in the local results under the correct business category. If you are a plumbing equipment supplier in Fresno, California and your business is listed under plumbing services, then you have no hope of appearing under important search queries for those who are searching for plumbing equipment suppliers in Fresno, California. Using a phone number with a local area code as the primary business phone number for your Google Plus Local is the best practice to generate better search results and better search rankings for your website. Your business name, address and phone number should be the same on your website and on your Google Plus Local page. This needs to be consistent with all other third-party directories and business listings like Yelp, Yahoo and Gizlist and on all social media channels. If your address has a suite number, then that information need to be consistent throughout all your web pages. For an example, if your website has your address as 2300 Marine Drive Suite 203 Denver, Colorado and your Google Plus local page has it as 2300 Marine Drive number 203 Denver, Colorado then this should be changed. This will have a negative impact on your local search results and on your SEO campaign. Although the impact of positive reviews is still uncertain in boosting search listings and search rankings, it never hurts to have as many positive reviews on your Google Plus local page. So have as many satisfied clients and customers leave you raving reviews about why they like doing business with you. Another key element that Google may incorporate into the Pigeon update or a separate future algorithm update is the dependency on website authority. In its efforts to safeguard the original creative work of online authors, Google has strategized a scheme known as Google Authorship. The content you produce on your website, news articles, blogs, and FAQ pages, and tying them to your Google Plus account through your Google Authorship will not only strengthen your local search rankings, it will also improve your Google Author Rank. This will ensure that your original work is not duplicated around the Internet. Not aware of what Google Authorship is? These are the search results that are accompanied by an image of the author's Google Plus One profile. As you can see, Google have given more prominence to authored links than those without it. Google authorship is primed to become a major factor in the future social signals of Google algorithms and will increase its visibility over the course of time. If you find that your competition is already started publishing its blogs, FAQ pages and company communications tied with Google authorship, then your competition is primed to enjoy better and increase future traffic through Google authorship. Tying your web material to your Google Plus One account is a very simple process. Search this on Google or talk to your webmaster as to how this can be done. For more information and updates on internet marketing, video marketing and SEO, please subscribe this channel. This is Vijit for thevisualcube.com. Thank you for watching.